What's up, YouTube? Hmm. Pretty excited today because in the previous video we just finished up, I got the turn signals working again finally, which was like hanging over my head forever. And I went, I wasted so much time needlessly worrying about that. And in the end, it, it did take two days, but that was, you know, it was a lengthy process running all that wire and stuff. Anyhow, that's working, so if I can get the clearance lights on, then my light situation will be all good. So I decided from the start, I was gonna put all new LEDs on the bus. And as I did everything, I just kept taking the old lights off. So I, I ran the wires for these already, up and over. These new lights that I got, they actually fit the same these holes line up, which I thought was awesome. So I don't know how long they'll last, but I'm gonna try them and see how they go. So try to get these things all hooked up. Okay guys, I'm getting closer on this. I'm gonna uh, just put straight butt connectors into the main wire. And then that's gonna be the ground. So oh, again, I used the heat shrink type. Pushed a cavity into the foam in there for the extra wire. So that's all gotta go in there. And that'll make it. That extra is going to go in there, and I got to connect that down there. I would just put a screw here, but this thing lays right down, right on top of it, and so that should be it. I should be able to just push all that in and screw that down, and then I'm just going to run a bead of caulk around it. Okay guys, so I, I tapped into that line at the pub and I started up the bus and turned on the marker lights and this one's working just fine. I don't really like the way it's going to have to lay on there, so, but I'm just going to have to call because there's no, no way around it. But I think when it's all said and done, it's going to look really cool, but at least this works. What's up, YouTube? It's a new day. It's a new dawn. It's a new morning. <laughs> I got. I ran. I ran down to nothing last night. I was like, I was so tired. Anyhow, one of the awesome things I love about this is we're getting help from the YouTube community. So we showed this without the marker lights, and the comment came in: Is that pass uh, safety inspection? And I thought, hmm. Huh. So anyhow, I pulled that up on the state of Oregon and I do have to have my three clearance lights back up here, which I didn't want to, but that's okay. It's a small thing. Yeah, so now I got to drill into here and put my three, and they're supposed to be six inches apart, which is basically just the way they were before. And it would be awesome because there's a piece of metal in there behind the fiberglass for the marker lights to hook into, but they put it in crooked. So I, otherwise I could have just went and just poked through their template, but their template's crooked. So anyhow, I got both sides down. I got them on. Now I'm gonna have to put these three on the front. And I also have to have the three on the back. But the holes are already there for the ones on the back, so that's no big deal anyway. So I'll just drill a hole through here, and these are just have to go like that, one in the middle and one on each side of it. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Okay, guys, I went up here and I drilled pilot holes. I got my spacing. They had to be at least six inches apart. 
so they're just very close to where they were before so I already drilled one drilled it on through and it's not too hard going it's got to go through metal through fiberglass but with the uh, I've been using the hold dozer the Milwaukee hold dozers hole saws and it'll go through this pretty easy so there's the first layer of metal Hello in there! Hello! I can see a blurry image of you. <laughs> it's focused on the skin, but it still sees you inside. Hey, what you doing, Randy? Well, I'm not digging those styrofoam. came with the lights? Yeah. And I got a couple of areas where the lights can't lay down flush because of the grounding wire. So I got to think that I just switch over and use this butyl tape. Mmm. Kill two can, birds with one stone possibly, huh? I can put it on thicker on the, in the areas where it's not gonna going to put butyl tape in here and then I'm torn between I don't want to repeat the same thing with the silicone again where I had disappointment with the silicone it does say on the Sika Flex that you shouldn't put it on plastic I think or maybe it was some of the plastic stuff I said that oh I remember it was the roof vent was one thing where it said uh, not to use Sika Flex on it so what I'm going to do is put the butyl tape up there, screw them on with the butyl tape, and then I'll mask them off and I'll caulk around them carefully with some Sika Flex. One of the things I did when nobody was watching is I took a deburring tool and I took the sharp corner off of these because there's no way to put a grommet in there. Anyhow, and then I had Shelly watch and make sure that these wires were coming through in the center so they wouldn't rub on the edges. The screw holes are in the plastic are tight enough the screw just barely won't slip through them. And I got stainless steel screws so they wouldn't corrode, but the problem with the stainless steel screws is they're so soft. So I've actually pre-screwed them in here and bodied them down to make sure that they didn't strip the head. Yeah, when you're trying to get them in there. Oh, she's going to look great with running lights up here. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's funny. Don't look good? No. Oh, maybe I just didn't get it sucked down tight now. There was still a gap behind me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that looks good. And it's nice and clean, huh? Yeah. Squished out. Beautiful. Actually, that worked really well. Okay, guys, we have our um, running lights across the front hooked up. And we've also gone all the way down the bus and hooked up the ones on the outside. So Randy is now in the back of the bus, um, hooking up those last lights that are on the corner and across the back. What's up, Randy? Tapping the line, baby. All I gotta do is get this casing open and I can tap into the marker light wire. And I'm going to ground back here right to this because this is welded right to the frame. I'm using these tap connectors. And to be quite honest, there's been some comments saying these aren't the best. And I think you're absolutely right because two of our LEDs in the living room and the kitchen, these things are not working. 
I'm not holding them. Huh? Right, they're working loose or whatever, because I can pull on the wire and put some strain on them and the light comes back on. So anyways, I'm still gonna use them back here because everything back here, I'm keeping it accessible. So if I do have trouble with these, I can just come back in here and strip the wires and solder them, which is, I mean, when I was at the truck stop, at the truck shop, I asked them, well, what's better than these? And they're like, those clip-on things are all we use. So, uh, anyways, I'm not anticipating, I'm gonna have a lot of problems with these, but I am being prepared that when I, if, if and when I do have a problem, I can just come up here. I got plenty of slack in the wire, I can, trim them and solder them but it's so sweet to tap onto these wires you just put that thing on there and clip it on and then plug into it it works really well I mean you can show them that one right there that's coming above the medicine cap yeah I like the convenience of it one of our main goals is to get this baby titled we need to get our title transferred and can't get to the DMV without my lights so once I get these hooked up, I think we can we can make an appointment at the DMV, yeah, huh? Because of the stuff things going on, we have to make an appointment to be there. But we can get that appointment made and move forward with this. So this is only going to take a, I hope only going to take about an hour. We'll see. Because all the rest of them are done and they're all working. So it's cool. And my raceway is working great. And in the process of doing this, I learned where the wires are going to come through for the camera system when we put it in. So we're still learning things and really seriously appreciate all the comments because I am not an expert on this stuff. I'm, lear I'm, I'm learning all this stuff. Automotive wiring, I'm like, are you kidding me? Go away. <laughs> we're, we're learning as we go, huh? Yeah. Okay, guys. Um... We just wanted to share with you that we got all of our running lights working. Um, we thought it'd be fun to show it in the dark. So um, it's a go. We've got them all working. It's, it's so exciting. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to end the video here and we will just catch you guys in the next one. Love to you all. Bye.